Hi Virgo, welcome to your September monthly reading. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo. I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos, and to those of you who have booked readings and made donations to my channel. I absolutely love doing this for you, and I do want to say I truly enjoy the messages and comments that you say. I mean, not the negative ones, you know, but <laughs> um, I really do love to hear the feedback. I, I unfortunately am so busy, I have not been able to respond to many of them. So for those of you who have filled in for me and shared enlightened and explained things to others, I appreciate that very much. Um, Again, this is a general reading. If you would like a personal reading that is for your specific situation, you can go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com. At the top, you will see um, a tab that says reading and another tab that uh, says guidance. Normally, there's a monthly special. I have not posted September monthly special yet because I'm trying to finish up with all the readings from August. So once I'm done with those, I will um, put that monthly special up. So you can go through, select the reading that you'd like. You can pay for it on the site. <clears throat> And it has instructions on what to do after you pay for it. So, they threw out a lot of cards. Okay. Now, this is for career and finance. And for um, love as well. They don't want the other cards that came out. And that's okay. I think we have quite a bit actually to work with here. So, in relating this to career and finance, we have the Judgment, the Three of Cups, which has been coming out for almost every reading, the Hangman, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, you are in a position where there may be some gossip going on. There could be um, within the organization that you're at. It could be gossip about you. It could be gossip about others. However, it's put you into uh, a state of do I stay or do I go? What you're being guided to do is to take a step back and look at the situation of what you're in from a non-emotional perspective perspective. You want to look at it from every possible angle before you decide to move forward. Now, the Hierophant is about change, correct? It's about an authority figure. Judgment is about a final call to take action. But again, you're being guided to step back and look at the situation fully. Yep. Wow. Before you take a step forward, and they did it again. I'm not sure why they're doing this. They're throwing a lot of cards out. So let's take a look at everything they have. They said they want it all. So there's a lot of information for some of you. You may be in a situation, um, again, the gossip that's going on, it's making you feel that you have to defend yourself, that you... Um, you feel stabbed in the back. This could be from people that you actually consider to be your friends. You know, we spend more time at work than we do in our own home and personal environment. So we do create friendships um, in the environment that we work in. But you feel that you were stabbed in the back. You have a leader, an authority figure. So this is your boss, your supervisor, somebody in charge that is aware of what's going on. And they are going to step up and they are going to make changes in the work environment. And this is going to lead to a wonderful new beginning for you in your work environment. For this group of people, it doesn't mean that it, you're going to get promoted. It means that your environment is going to become a better, more emotionally healthy environment for you to work in. For others of you, there's another group that this similar situation is taking place. 
when they do this, when the person in charge uh, addresses the issue with the ones who are gossiping, because they already are aware of it, I assure you, this group of you, they already know what's going on. They're going to step in and they're going to create an, a, a change in the environment, but they are also looking at you and the work that you've done because they see how hard you've worked and they like what you're doing. You're not involved, this is for those of you who are not involved in the gossip, they like that. They like your work. They are going to offer you a promotion and this promotion is going to lead you to a, um, a better stable foundation for your family, for your home, for your personal, it's an increase in your finances basically, not just that. It's also a promotion that comes with a title change. So uh, if you're going to move into management, it will actually say management on your name. So that promotion is there as well in writing. Now, for others of you, you're thinking about moving on and they want you to go internal. You've got the hermit and the hangman. They want you to go inside and make sure that this change is what is going to make you happy. You're going to have many, many opportunities. You've got three offers coming in. So what your advice to do is to send out your resume to any and everything you are qualified for. Now, it may be something that feels that it's a lower position. You really want to get out of where you're at. You don't like the environment. It is not emotionally satisfying for you. So you need to go within, move forward, apply for any and everything. Through this, you're going to get three offers that come through. But here's the catch. It may be a lower position. You don't realize that somebody just left that's in an equal lateral position of what you're leaving. So you can go into and you will be offered a position that you didn't even apply for that is of a higher level. This is going to bring you a very happy outcome as far as uh, um, your foundation that you can create for your home environment. Now in relating this to love, some of you have been going through a situation. Um, I'm hearing soulmate. I'm hearing the twin flame scenario. Soulmates are very karmic. There's a lot of um, healing that needs to take place in these type of relationships. So for some of you, you feel betrayed by your partner. You may not even be talking to the partner at this time. You've worked really hard on this and you don't know what's, what's going on. You are ready to move forward in your life and letting go of that situation and moving into the hangman position. And they want you to actually move forward. Moving forward is going to give you a sense of confidence it's going to put that invisible aura that's around us that says, hey, we're really happy, we're really excited. You know the person you meet that everybody's drawn to and they're just delightful, everything about them. That's you, that's what's gonna happen with you. You're going to have multiple opportunities, offers in love. You're actually going to draw a lot of people. You will have a choice of which relationship you want to pick. You, um, they want one more card. Regardless of who you pick, you're going to, um, the choice you make is going to be the right choice for you. It will be a situation, although it is change in your life, it's a positive change. And you're going to accept these uh, one of these offers. Maybe well, for some you may accept all of them and that way you can narrow it down. But there is a final outcome that is going to come from this, a final opportunity that is going to come forward through this. Now, the first card you have is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring romance to your life. The next is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. 
This can mean that some of you are apart because of religious factors. It can also mean that some of you are going to come together because you are on the same spiritual path. So for some of you, you have somebody coming back from the past, past life relationship. This could be somebody you've actually already encountered where you feel that they betrayed you and stabbed you in the back. This could be even your existing partner. You have an opportunity to create a new beginning within the beginning, uh, within the relationship that you currently have. For others, you are going to communicate, you're the person that you are estranged from is on their way back to you. They are going to come through. They are going to uh, offer their cup. Make sure that, that, that you fully understand what took place on their end before you accept. And the reason I'm saying this is you have a number of other options that are going to come through. Because for this group of you, you are at a level within yourself where you're very confident, you're very assured of who you are and what you want in your life. And we have free will. We can choose to be with somebody from a past life. We can choose to be with our soulmate twin flame, or we can choose to move forward and go into a different relationship completely and entirely. You're gonna have many opportunities regardless whether you're in a current relationship, reconciling with somebody from your past, or meeting a brand new person, may even be your soulmate, you have an opportunity to create a brand new beginning in your love life. You have a lot of offers coming to you, multiple opportunities that is going to bring you joy. The final call for judgment is there. You can move forward confidently and know that your partner or whomever it is that you are uh, picking, because you will have the pick, of you'll have the cream of the crop and you will be confident that you've, you've picked according to what is best for you and suitable for you in your life. Please check out your moon and rising sign and take from all three what is applicable for your life and fit the readings in, you know, you, you, you want to pick the ones that are applicable for your life, not trying to fit your life around the readings. I do hope, Virgo, you have a wonderful September and I wish you much love.